Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, final session of uh, the Queen's program, uh, finalist presentation. So the first presentation uh, will be from uh, UCLA. Uh, sorry if I misspell your, uh, pronounce your name. Uh, Fatima Anwar and uh, Amr Alanwa. And uh, the topic is uh, TNT. That's a good title. Trusted notion of time for resilient autonomous driving. Let's welcome the speakers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fatima, and he's my partner, Amr. We both are from UCLA. So today, our talk will highlight the importance of uh, accurate time in autonomous driving, the challenges we face, and our proposed solutions in providing an accurate and secure sense of time to autonomous driving services. Key services in autonomous driving requires in-vehicle sensors and controllers to work with each other. These services also rely on vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle coordination and vehicle-to-infrastructure communication. This ecosystem of in-vehicle and across-vehicle to infrastructure coordination requires an accurate sense of time. In a single autonomous vehicle, relative time is important among several electronic control units called ECUs. These ECUs need to have a common sense of time. Uh, I mean, they need to have a common environment picture through a shared sense of time with respect to each other to infer a particular system state. For example, camera and LiDAR equipped ECUs rely on time-based sensor fusion to assist uh, braking systems or traffic sign recognition. On the other hand, absolute time is necessary across different vehicles and the infrastructure in vehicular network. In automated intersection management, autonomous traffic is scheduled in dedicated time slots that heavily relies on absolute synchronized time. Also, if two autonomous cars collide, the dispute can only be resolved by time stamping in absolute time all the collision events at all vehicles. However, time can be attacked and distorted um, for the services in autonomous driving that can heavily affect all time critical services. A compromise link between ECUs can swap or delay packets. A corrupted ECU can arbitrarily make time jump backward or forward. On the global scale, GPS is capable of providing a very stable and accurate time. However, we all know that GPS signals can be easily spoofed. A time server on the network can be compromised an adversary sitting on the network element can just attack the time transfer packets. In short, time can be attacked by injecting hardware faults. A malicious operating system can manipulate timer registers. System services can make time fuzzy. Or man-in-the-middle attackers can just simply delay packets, resulting in an inaccurate sense of time for autonomous driving services. So, we advocate for securing time across all layers of a stack. Secure hardware timer that provides time tick, the platform software that maintains time, and network time packets that carry time information. Our proposed solution to provide an accurate sense of time in the face of attack is comprised of three major components. The usage of trusted execution environment with the root of trust in hardware. The secure state estimation techniques that infer true time from noisy and attack measurements and optimizations to reduce system latencies and bandwidth consumption. Together, they all provide a trusted notion of time called TNT. So this talk will highlight the trusted execution environment and secure state estimation due to shortage of time, and we'll defer to optimizations for the poster session. Now, moving towards the first component in our proposed architecture, we analyze three different trusted execution environments. Most widely used, we all know, Intel SGX, ARM Trust Zone, and Trusted Platform Module. So Intel SGX provides access to a trusted timer, and it also has a virtualization support. But its trust boundary is only limited to the CPU. ARM Trust Zone neither has secure timer nor has any standard virtualization support. Whereas TPM does provide secure peripherals, such as secure clock and storage, but it doesn't have a powerful processor capable of application development. Since securing time is critical not just for vehicles, but also for infrastructure servers in autonomous driving, we make use of both Intel SCX and ARM Trust Zone in our design. However, our current research targets only Intel SCX and can be extended to ARM Trust Zone. 
We also make use of TPM, Secure Clock, as an alternate source of time. So as you can see here, the Secure Clock from TPM and Trusted Timer from STX feeds into our TNT architecture. So we, uh, and also TNT is able to communicate over the network to access global time from time servers. So we are the first to propose such an architecture, but we faced numerous challenges. For example, even this system can be attacked. We imitated a malicious operating system in between our TNT and trusted timer in SGX, where it is able to just delay packets. So an operating system is capable of delaying packets and that caused damage because a time value is considered wrong, not only because of its value, but also if it's reported after a delay. So traditional network security and encryption, data encryption mechanisms fail in protecting uh, against the time delay attacks. We mounted a real-world time delay attack on SGX trusted time packets, and our attack results show that we were able to double the time errors without being detected by the SGX. Also, we mounted network attacks on time synchronization packets and accumulated an error of three seconds without the client even knowing about it. On top of attacks, the system has other limitations as well. Um, for example, high access latency to secure clock, the Intel SGX secure timer has a very core stick, no sense of absolute time, and no support for time-triggered applications. In our TNT architecture, we would try to overcome the attacks as well as the system limitations by providing a high-resolution secure time tick and building an absolute clock on top of the secure time tick in a hardware enclave using secure time estimation techniques. Now that I've given you the big picture of the TNT architecture, my partner Amar will tell how he can use secure time estimation techniques to infer true time from attack time measurements. Thank you, Fatma. So let's step back for seconds and think carefully what's the main problem that we are trying to solve in TNT. TNT basically trying to estimate the global time given some received time stamps. Okay, but estimating the global time is just one example of a state estimation given some noisy measurement. This no no the state can be location, time, speed of autonomous car. The autonomous car is just one example of cyber physical system which has which have real time constraints, nonlinearity and complexity. However, fortunately, the, car, the current industrial firmware can handle noisy measurement or noisy time stamps. So the current industrial firmware would have, for example, nonlinear state estimator or some deep learning, some machine learning to deal with noisy measurement. And it would, ha it would have some actuator algorithm. However, let's take a step forward and attack the measurement or attack the time stamps. Now, it's not called state estimation anymore. It's a new problem called secure state estimation. Up to our knowledge, there is no single industrial firmware that can deal with attacked measurement or attacked time stamps. Okay, let's see how TNT proposed to solve the hard problem. First, I would like to emphasize that we categorize the, the challenges into two main challenges. The first one is the CBS complexity. This will cover the real-time constraints and any nonlinearity in the system. The second one is the security problem due to the attacked time stamped or attacked measurement. Related work shows to replace the noisy state estimator or the state estimator which deals with noisy measurement with a new algorithms. And they shows to deal with the whole thing in one algorithm. Thus, up to our knowledge, there is no single paper that can provide security guarantees in noisy measurement or noisy timestamps and non-linear system. So we choose some divide and concur thing. We propose this 
decoupling. So let's decouple the two challenges. We have the cyber physical uh, system complexity, and this is already well handled in the current industrial firmware. So let's just add an extra layer here to just protect the timestamps or the measurement and clean them from attacks. So in short, this TNT layer will provide attack-free measurement to the current industrial firmware. We will not change any industrial firmware. We will not replace the current algorithm. So this can have any state estimator, machine learning, deep learning. We don't care. We just protect the measurement. This block will run in the trusted execution environment, which is ARM Trust Zone, Intel SGX, or whatever. TNT would take the best of our previous work. One work was Sixth Sense. In Sixth Sense, we reformalize the attacker, and we are able to provide millisecond execution time in comparison to 13 minutes in a nonlinear system. However, we fail to provide any security guarantees because Sixth Sense follow the related work and try to solve the whole challenges at once. Thus, we move forward to another reset. It's called reset. It's a new paper under submission. And here we introduce this decoupling. And now we are able to provide security guarantees by saying we're just protecting the measurement. Then we provide recap which is an optimization-based algorithm for the same decoupled framework, and it has nice feature in comparison to reset. Due to the time limitations, maybe we can discuss the contributions of these offline. As a primary result, we choose today to show you two main test cases. The first one uh, would aim to emphasize that the industrial firmware or the cyber physical system can be nonlinear with time constraint, and we are able to deal with it. So here, I hope you can see it, two drones flying, and then at single point, we will apply attacks. They are trying to follow each other, so one follower and one leader. And then this will go away due to the attacks, and it will crash very soon. So let's see the result. This is the bottom figure, is the error or the distance between the two EVs. As you can see, it just follows the attacker intention, and it reached up to seven meter. However, by using the decoupled, we are able to, uh, to uh, provide about half meter error. This is just an example of nonlinear system, and this can be extended easily to any time nonlinear estimator or whatever in TNT. The second test case is out of six cents. In six cents, we have some moving nodes and some static nodes to simulate the autonomous car framework, where we ha would have some static infrastructure and moving cars around. While applying simple attacks, without protection, we would have about 140 microsecond synchronization error. However, with six cents, it's about 0.04 microsecond. In terms of test bits, we are mainly focusing on two things. The first one is Carla. As you can see, it's an open source autonomous car simulator. We modified the simulator and we inject timestamps, attacks, sensor attacks. You have to stop the time. It's not my problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what should I do now? Keep on speaking. Okay. Okay, it's attacks on your system. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry, maybe our videos are a little bit heavy. Sorry for that. <laughs> Okay, let's try. 
hopefully. Okay, we inject a text on uh, open source uh, Carla, and we the car will crash hopefully very soon and it will go out of the road and crash. The second test bed before the video crashes, our tiny Formula One uh, car. It's moving autonomously in one of the UCLA building and it has LIDAR, so many sensors, as a test bed for our uh, TNT. The third one, which is under construction, we are trying to emulate as much as possible of the car functionality in the lab. We will show some of results offline. We are trying to modify the AutoSAR industrial firmware to have TNT there. So, in summary, TNT leverages secure execution environment, trusted, uh, sorry, trusted, envi a trusted execution environment, secure state of uh, estimation and optimization techniques to provide trusted notion of time for autonomous driving. Uh, please join our booster demo. Watch your steps. It's not a safe session today. Our crazy tiny car will, moving around, will be moving around, and we will be happy to listen to your questions. Thanks. One quick question. Okay, um, very very interesting presentation. So, when your TNT algorithm try to detect um, timing devices that are already sabotaged, how about your false positive rate? Like it's not really sabotaged, but the system flag it as sabotaged. Would that be a concern, or we don't really uh, mind? Yeah, this is a good question. How to differentiate between error and attack? Is this a good reformalization? Yeah, we don't care. As if, as long as it exceeds something, it's considered attack. If it's error or not error, we deal with it as attack and provide protection against it. So our solution is resilient against this. As we are trying, we are not trying to differentiate. Okay. As long as in some re range, we can protect against. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Let's uh, thank the speaker again. Thank you. So the next presentation is from uh, uh, Kirk Boucher and the Tech Yem Lim from uh, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I've been there for six years in my life. This is probably one of my best, uh, you know, my, one of my favorite towns. <laughs> All right, let's uh, welcome the speaker.